What's going on guys, Rabe here, and today we're taking a look at Nerf and Strike Modulus Stealth Ops Upgrade Kit. Uh, so this is the one of the four uh, new upgrade kits for the Modulus system, the new uh, blaster system from Nerf. And of course, this is the Stealth Ops. <laughs> so as you can see, you get a uh, three items in this package. You get a cell... Uh, Sorry, proximity barrel uh, down here, which looks actually really cool. Uh, you get a red dot sight, which I believe requires batteries. Yep, you can see uh, you need two AAA batteries from this. I'm going to have to dig into my closet in a moment. And uh, a folding grip, which is pretty cool. Um, on the back, you can just see it's got the same exact thing on the back that every all the other sets do. Uh, it just shows you, basically, these are the different kits you can get. Uh, these are all the pieces and the, the main blaster, which I have, of course, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy open, and we will uh, check it out with the blaster. Alrighty, guys. So we got all that stuff out of the package and set up, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at all of the pieces here. And the first one we'll take a look at is the uh, proximity barrel. And it's actually very nicely constructed. I do like it's all different. Uh, different colors of plastic actually uh, so there's not really any paint other than the nerf logo on this you can see it's got the uh, the barrel inside there are no visible screws here at all which leads me to believe that this whole thing is uh, probably glued together um, a little bit of a bummer for painting purposes but honestly not that big a deal because it is just big solid like chunks of color so you could either easily tape it off or just paint it all you know one color and then just hand paint uh, this part and here if you if you really wanted to uh, do that so pretty cool and that of course has the standard uh, barrel extension just like so and you can just pop it right on the end which I think looks really really nice actually on the modulus and uh, next up, of course, is the folding grip, which just has a little little button right here. Um, it's very, very simple. This is all just one piece, and uh, it it locks it actually pretty well. So you have to um, you have to press the little orange button to release the grip out, and then you have to press it again to fold it back in. So that's pretty cool. I think I would have preferred if you could just fold it out without you know pressing the button but uh, I do like that it locks into place so I'm not going to complain and of course that can go right up on the front here or anywhere you desire of course and then you've got a nice nice grip and you can easily as well just push the button you know with your finger and press it up and if you're you know if you're left handed you can do the same with your uh, index finger, or possibly your thumb, no, index finger, <laughs> sorry, trying to get into the mind of a left-handed person, and uh, I apologize to all you left-handed folks, and uh, <clears throat> last, but certainly not least, is the red dot sight, which you can see actually has a uh, printed, uh, printed crosshairs on there, and uh, the batteries just go right in the front here, this little screw, just two AAA batteries, just like it said, didn't lie. Um, and the nice thing is this is all uh, screws in it, so it looks like it can be taken apart without too, too much trouble. And uh, maybe just pop this piece out if you wanted to paint it, so that's pretty fantastic. The red dot is actually like hidden way in there, and it really is very, very tiny, little like pinhole. Uh, but you can push the button here, and it does go on. And you can see it is coming right through here. And it will kind of make an image of that target. Let me shut the light off real quick. See if this will show up any better for us. There you go. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we'll do like that you can you can kind of see what's going on there 
So, I mean, obviously it's not a pinpoint sight. It's going to just spread uh, the further it goes. Um, but, you know, it's, it's cool looking. It's a cool effect. And, of course, you know, if you're in the dark and swinging your gun around, you know, someone else is going to see this and, and see that red flash go by and they're going to be like, oh man, he's got a sight on there and maybe he won't know <laughs> that it doesn't really do you any good. Um, but either way, I mean, it's pretty cool. Let's pop all these lights on to make it super bright again. Woo! And of course, uh, this you can put on right up here. And then, uh, bring this guy back and you can see um, it looks a little bit goofy up there I think it'll look better uh, if you have like a stock on the end which you know you obviously can do because it comes with the stock for the for the modulus base system plus there are the the stock <laughs> I said stock, I almost said stock options which you know um, but you know there's there's many options for you as far as the uh, stockades and things like that go um, and of course you can stick you know other things up there but yeah, yeah. So really, really cool. Um, probably the most basic of all of the, uh, you know, accessory packs, uh, with the exception, I guess, of the lights. You know, you're paying mostly for that, for that light function, uh, because the barrel really is is just aesthetic only, um, and the folding grip is cool. But you actually, you know, you get the grip with the modulus base system. Uh, so unless you want the light. And unless you want that, you know, that particular barrel design, uh, you could probably skip this accessory pack, really. Um, but I'm going to enjoy painting it, so that's going to be pretty cool. And of course, as always, keep in mind that these uh, items are uh, backwards compatible with your older end strike rail system or, you know, stock extension or barrel extension uh, weapons. So you can use those on all of your older Nerf guns as long as they have those at attachment parts. So, uh, yeah, and that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I've got more uh, modulus accessory packs coming up real soon, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, check out my channel. I've got uh, lots more Nerf, uh, Nerf painting tutorials, things like that that you may be interested in, so keep, an, keep a lookout, and uh, yeah, take a look at those. <laughs> in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.